Well, hello everyone, welcome back to Epic Games, and I am back with a free-for-all on Village, everyone. Uh, Village seems to be a, uh, it might be a community favor or something, because it's a map that we play very often uh, since the game came out. I'm not really sure. It reminds me of uh, Jungle in Black Ops, you know, as far as, you know, how many, <laughs> how many times you actually get to play this map. There were a couple of maps on Black Ops that became, like, the favorites in the game, and so. But I'm doing pretty good today, guys. I'm testing out a new setup now with my microphone. I just got myself a nice stand and everything so I can get the microphone real close to me and stuff, you know? So that we can get some nice, nice vocals in there and everything. So, I hope you guys are, are going to like it. Um, let me know what you think because um, I did a pretty neat setup. I'm, I'm going to be putting pictures of the setup soon. Uh, I don't do it right now yet because I'm still waiting for some pieces for my desk to come in and things like that. I'm setting up this whole, this whole room here that I have this layer where I'm... Setting up my gear and stuff with a desk, the TVs, the computer, dual monitor screen and everything. Uh, so it should be something fun for you guys to see when I when I actually get it completed. So it's been another week or so that it will actually be done. But uh, uh, this video is actually not so much about the gameplay, guys. Uh, it is more about... Uh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, some of the stuff that has been going on in my own life. Um, I'd like to share with you something. You know, I figure that if I'm going to keep doing this and I actually want to take this a little farther than just, you know, something that I do for, you know, for fun for myself. But I, I actually want to connect with you guys a little more. And uh, I think the best way to do is about to share some things about about my life, you know. Um, unfortunately, you guys have noticed that I actually have been really sick. Um, there's many reasons why that has actually happened. Uh, one of the reasons is because uh, actually last year, I, uh, if you guys saw some of my videos from... Uh, Sina Epic, um, you know, I talked about a little bit what happened last year, and one of the things that happened is I got, I got absolutely very, very sick. I had pneumonia, and I had a uh, problem with my immune system that was not, it got shocked by so much antibiotics and everything that it was not being able to heal itself, and uh, ended up in the hospital a lot. It was six months, six to seven months of just absolute mayhem in my body, which is really, really hard. To actually uh, be able to do just about anything but when I was coming out of that I actually um, I decided to open up the YouTube channel and started to make some YouTube videos and I thought you know I really liked this but I just didn't know if I was gonna like it but I put the link on the description on that video where I talk about how I started how I actually got started on YouTube so you guys can hear that but because of what happened last year uh, my immune system still has not recovered I, there were so much antibiotics putting me that I actually became allergic to penicillin and once you're allergic to penicillin uh, according to what the doctor said that's it there's really nothing else you can do you will forever be allergic to penicillin so now i have to use other methods of um, to get antibiotics in my body when i get sick and uh, my recommendation is you know stay away from antibiotics as much as you can <laughs> uh, if it's at all possible you know but um because of that you know it's just been a lot of issues with me in my body and uh, i'm trying to to correct, um, I, I had quite a bit of infections in my body because of the fact that my immune system being so weak. And uh, I'm still dealing with them since going with the doctor for it. But um, uh, it, this week I actually was in my house and I was sitting in my, de in my uh, couch with my wife. We were just watching a movie or something. I don't remember what exactly we were doing. But I, I felt my left arm and I felt this, 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 my left arm having a little bump really hard. I'm like, what is that? So I looked at it and... Uh, I had this uh, this this ball, you know, <laughs> this ball on my bicep. That I don't know how long it has been there. I never actually noticed it, and uh, kind of freaked me out. <laughs> I think a lot of people will freak out when they see something like. Because to me, it's like, holy Jesus, what the hell is this? You know, it is a mass that I, I felt no pain. I felt nothing from it, but it was there. I went to the doctor right away the very next day, and the doctor told me that I actually had a a tumor in my left in my right arm. Uh, near right right below my bicep or above my bicep so somewhere there but um they uh they said that they you know at this point we don't know whether it is they gear so the fact that it's, it's benign it's not malignant but um you know you never know with this thing because you can't really do a biopsy on it until you actually take it out but everybody so f the doc first doctor so they think you know it's not malignant and that um it's going to be okay because of the fact that the masses move and I feel no pain. So those are all good signs that the mass is just might be just a, 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 a benign lymphoma, you know, that that is there. But you know, these are some of the things that have been happening to me lately. And um, you know, I'm dealing with a lot of health issues, and that's probably why sometimes you guys see me, you know, hey, you know, he's not posting as many videos as he, you know, he does. I go by burst sometimes. 
you know, I, I would go up with a roll with a bunch of videos, and then I, I don't know, I just, I just, I guess I'm in medicine all the time. But anyways, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to like change my mindset about it, you know, and become a little bit more positive about it, and, and more, more thinking in the aspects of, you know, I, I just, I just gonna get better, you know, not, not to be down a lot with this stuff, you know, the medicine doesn't usually help, but you know, I'm working on that, and uh, I wanted just to share some of that with you guys. Uh, I'll keep you posted. I'll let you guys know what happened. I'm pretty sure it's, it's not gonna be a big deal. It's gonna be benign, and you know, it's just a matter of whenever I like to actually get it removed from my uh, from my arm. It's, it is a little bit strange to see it, but it's there. <laughs> Makes my arm, one arm, look a little bigger than the other, so it's kind of strange. But anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. You know what's been going on and why. He said that I'm a little sporadic, you know, with videos and things like that, and, and I'm doing my best to become more consistent for you all. So hopefully uh, that will be the case soon over here. I'll be get myself healed over here. But thank you guys for, you know, being loyal, coming back to the channel and, and watching the videos, you know, every time I put them up. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time.